All right, so I'm gonna get the hair cutting stuff. Um, I wanna show you guys, I was actually gonna grow it out, but I will show you what it looks like now. And then I'm gonna have my daughter cut it because I wanted something that could be pretty low maintenance that if I don't get to the hairdresser in time or I feel like it's too long, that I can fix it for myself. And so she's gonna cut it for me. But I also don't use mine as like a fashion statement. Mine's kind of like, okay, you got a lot of hair, you sweat a lot, all those things. So we're gonna do the pros and cons of having an undercut. Yes, for about this stuff all the time. So here we go. <laughs> All right, peeps. So you ask me all the time about my undercut. Did you know that I have an undercut? You should comment and tell me because maybe I'm not telling enough people, but I've had, or maybe I've not said it in, in a lot of light or a lot of tutorials, but I've had an undercut for probably at least six years. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a little spin a -rooski around and show you. So this is needing attention, but we've kind of been growing it out a bit because I was going to change it up, not get rid of it, but change it up. And I'm gonna address that here in a little bit. So you wanna make sure that you listen to this through because I'm gonna be telling you the pros and cons of having an undercut and why I have one. When I made the decision to cut my hair shorter, I actually, one day I was getting ready to move to Texas and I was working outside. I was uh, just sweating bullets as I was painting this dresser. And I was so agitated that I was sweating and I have this long hair on me and that's when my hair took, I cut it myself. I chopped it off to pretty much nothing, cut my hair. I was livid that it was so hot and I was sweating like crazy and it was gone. I mean, I almost pulled a Britney Spears, but not quite, <laughs> but I, I cut it off short. So that's when kind of the undercut came into play into my life. And I realized that the only way I was gonna have the short haircuts that I wanted was if I have an undercut. So I have a long neck. Before I started working out, it looked even longer because I didn't have any of these here muscles. And I have a really long neckline as well. Like on this side, I can feel it clear down here. So I just had, a really long neckline as well. Like if you can tell my hair's to here and my, my this part goes down to about right there. And I just, I, I don't like it. And then I also don't like it when this part right here, when you're working out and you get all sweaty and it gets stringy and then you try and do your hair that day and it just doesn't work. So I got the undercut, absolutely love it. But the very, as we started doing it, it kept going too high. We just kept going way too high and it was higher than what it even is now. And I'm gonna pull this up so that you can really fully see how high we are here. Okay, so don't look at any of this length, but I was probably up, let's see, where am I? I was probably up into here as for how high that it went. And because it was so high, I just, I didn't like it. And I kind of felt like there's no way she's gonna be able to pull her hair up if it's like that. So we had kind of started all over and made it go a little lower. Well, it's at the point where I think maybe styles have changed too, and I still want it just a titch lower, so right in here. So we're going to, this is gonna look like crap. Um, we're going to part it off, and we're going to cut this, and I'm gonna grow this part out. Now why it's cut like this right now, and it's kind of just fading out, is because I shouldn't cut it today. <laughs> We've been working hard at, not hard, but every time we go in, we haven't been cutting this as short, so that this can phase out and we're um, fixing this part so it just looks really nice. But I'm gonna go ruin that today as I have my daughter cut it for you to, so that we can show it because I really do think it's important for you guys to see and know a little bit about that undercut. So this tutorial might seem a little more boring for the fact that I'm not, I'm just explaining things to you. So please just listen up, but you ask me, who should do an undercut in their hair? And I'm gonna take this out because I think it could feel a little weird. Um, so I chose an undercut because one, I have a lot of hair. Two, I have a very long neckline. Three, um, I work out and sweat. 
and I just, there was so much hair that I was able to do that. So someone who should not get an undercut is if you have thin hair, um, that's mostly what it is. If you have thin hair, not very much hair, you don't have very much that's filling in the sides, you don't have very much that's on top, I would not get an undercut. And the reason, like if you think about it, if, and you're trying to create that body, and you already have thin hair, and you take out that whole section, then you're not left with any hair, and especially if you don't have very uh, very much on top too. I have a lot of hair on top. In fact, it takes me a very long time to blow dry all of this because I do have so much hair. Again, it's medium fine hair, but I have a lot of it. So we're going to um, have my daughter do this for me. I am putting her on the spot. She just got done riding her horse. Um, she's the only one that's cut it for me besides a hairdresser and she has never had to part it off. And so I'm not gonna put any guarantees on what this part is going to look like. I have little hair clips. I don't know where I put my little hair clips. I will find my little hair clips. Well, I'll have her part it off. But normally, I personally like to just do just a little triangle piece. Um, it allows me to keep a little more, more bulk in the hair instead of going just straight across. So uh, what I will ask of her is to kind of give this a, a part that comes up, up to a point like this because I want to see if we can keep this length. So I am going to look weird for a little bit, but I want to grow that out so that my undercut isn't so high. So I'm going to ask her to kind of do a triangle up to the center just because then I have a little bit more bulk here on the sides then not, and then after we do this, I'll come back and talk and finish things out for you, but let's go. Hi friend, I have these for you because I want you to shave my hair. Ready? What you doing? School. School? Got a little brain body exercise going on? <laughs> you don't know this, but <laughs> you have to part my hair off and then put these clips so that we create a whole new hairline. Huh? <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is gonna go really well. Hold tight. So, come here, come here, child. What I'm gonna have you do, so that you know what you're doing, is we um, are trying to grow out the top part of this and not have it go so high up onto my head. So I'm just gonna pull this up but see how see how we have it kind of longer and shorter here it's because we're trying to grow out this piece because i don't want it to be as high up right so you're going to create a new a triangle for me and you're going to pin that up so that you don't cut it and then i'll just have you cut all this so i'm gonna look it's not gonna look cute like i would not be pulling my hair up with this hairstyle, but it won't take long for it to be grown back out with my hair. But that's what you're gonna do. Does that make sense? Sure. You got this? So see which ones you think is easier. If it's these little doohickeys, I figured this would be easier than this. Okay? Okay, here we go. You can do some damage. This is my this is my gardening knee pad that I got for Mother's Day. What? Yes, ma'am. Okay, let's do this. That does not hurt any longer. All right, I'm just leaving it in her hands. These just don't go higher than it already is. So normally we don't want to go higher than that bone back there, unless you're specifically going for a, a look where it is up high. But if you're just doing what I'm doing, you want to keep it lower down to that occipital bone area and not shaving like way up the head. So try and keep it, just don't go too high. We're a little higher than what I would like. It's really scary when you trust people to do this. 
don't ever trust someone who's mad at you that day. And definitely only do someone who likes you. <laughs> You're stepping into risky territory here. I know. I'm scared. Okay, okay. Let's go finish talking. Let's talk about this, shall we? Well, that was fun. <laughs> Hopefully not too crazy and I do not know what the back looks like, but we are kind of switching it up. So if I have to go back to the hairdresser and, um, and kind of go a little higher or even it out, I will. But the whole purpose of this video is for you to kind of see, you do want to focus your uh, undercut more so around the occipital bone. So you really need to envision like how you would look. Let's say you ever did pull your hair up, how you would look. So if you go too high up and you're not let me make it clear like everybody does these differently everybody does a um like an undercut some people like to shave up the sides um some people some people when they they like to be able to pull it more so like this because it's a fashion thing and this is all shaved it all depends but if you have an undercut like i do on short hair and your whole reason for pretty much the undercut is because you want to go shorter see i can't go as short of a haircut unless I have an undercut because my neckline is so long. So that is kind of what I do. Um, I get mine trimmed up about every four weeks. Um, I try and go to the stylist just so that I can get my hair toned and then trimmed every four weeks and then I get my hair dyed about every eight weeks or so. Um, that is just a little more in depth than just her adding a toner. She adds a toner to my hair, this is a side note, just so that um, it doesn't pull so brassy. So I know that with the um, undercut, it's kind of like, this is only gonna reach so many. You don't necessarily need one. But if you are interested in getting an under kind of undercut, just remember you need to have thicker hair and do not get one if you already have thin, fine, not very much hair. Um, you are gonna feel like you really then have a thin, not very much hair even more so. So I'm Jocelyn McClellan with Fit Mission Makeup. Thank you so much for watching this. You guys, I love it when you interact, when you say hi, when you tell me where you're from, all the little details, but you can learn more about me. You can learn more about what I do on Instagram at jocelyn.mcclellan. On Facebook, I do hair lives on Facebook every Thursday, and then I do makeup lives every Tuesday at Fit Mission Makeup with Jocelyn McClellan. I'm on Pinterest, and then I'm always trying to post here every single week. So if you need me, you can find me, but I'm going to go and curl up this hair. Okay guys, take care, have a good one, we'll see you, bye-bye.